Hello and welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw an internal and external arc of giving radii to two giving circles. So this is what I'm talking about. So let me just draw a freehand sketch of what we are going to be doing in this video. So if you have one circle like this, and we have another circle. So how do we go about to draw an internal, internal arc? So the one down is, is the internal arc. You are going to be having something like this. And then an external arc. So this is what we are going to be having. So how do you go about to draw something like this when you are giving the radius of the internal arc, the radius of the external arc, and then the radius of the circle. So before we get into this video, if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you get notified when I release um, any video. Alright, thank you very much if you have just subscribed and if you have subscribed, do let me know in the comments section below that. Just comment that yes, I have subscribed. Alright, thank you very much if you have done that. And if you haven't, you can just click on the subscribe button. Please just click on it. Thank you very much. Alright, so for this video, let me give you some of the units I'm going to be using. That means the length of the radius of the arc and the circles. And it's important to know that irrespective of the uh, radius that you are using, because you, you watching this video, you might have the radius that you want to work with or you are asked to to work with so for this uh, for this video I'm going to be using the radius for the external arc radius so let me write them here external arc radius so external arc radius so let me call that one R R1 So that will be 10 centimeter. I hope you can see that. Then for the internal arc, so we are going to be internal arc radius. That will be R2, 5 centimeter. Then the radius of the circle. So radius of circle 1, radius of circle 1. So let me give that. R, small letter R1, 3 centimeter, and the radius of circle 2, that will be R2, is equal to 2 centimeter. So, you are going to be using this first 4 units, or the 4 uh, radius lengths, whatever, to do this example. Alright, so, to start with, let me draw the first circle. So, the first circle is with a radius of 3 centimeter. So, I pick my compass, and then... I measure 3 centimeter. So I already have 3 centimeter. And I draw my circle. So this is it. I already have for circle. So now let's go ahead and measure that of the second circle. So we are, the second circle is radius of 2 cm. So I already have my 2 cm. So now we have our circles. So next thing is to draw is to join the center of this circle to draw a line across it. So let me call the center of this point A and then let me call this B. So let me have let me have ray as one. So that means B1. That's the radius of this circle. Then A1 is the radius of this first circle. So now, the next thing is to do now is to draw the internal arc. So this one here is, is the internal arc. So the internal arc, this is it. So now I want to work on the internal arc. To do that, okay, before I do that, let me indicate that the radius of this is 2 cm, while the radius of this is 3 cm, just for illustration purpose. So now if you look at it, that the internal arc radius, internal arc radius, what we have here, we take it to be 5 cm. So what we do is that that 5 cm, we are going to add it 
to the radius of this second circle that is two, two centimeter that will give us seven centimeter so just follow along so the internal radi arc radius five centimeter plus radius of this particular circle of two centimeter will give us seven so let's measure seven centimeter So from that you draw an arc. So here is the arc I've just drawn. So what we've done here, we are going to do the same same thing here. So the internal arc radius is five centimeter. So we'll add that to the radius of this circle, three centimeter. That will give us eight. So now we measure eight centimeter. So I already have my 8 centimeter with my compass. I'll place it at the center of this circle. That is point A. So I'll draw an arc to touch, to cut this arc. So from their point of intersection, so you note the point of intersection. So let me call this point of intersection point C. So now from this point C, you are going to draw a line to the center of the circles. So for this first circle, and then for the second circle, you draw a line. Now where this line is touching this particular circle, let's call this point, okay, point D. Why the where it's touching it here? Let's call it point E. Now where this is touching it is where the arc will be. So that means the arc will be coming from this point D to point E. So now let's go ahead and draw the arc. Don't forget our arc radius is five centimeter. So now we measure five centimeter with our compass. So, 5 centimeter. So, we place it on point C. So, from point D, so that 5 centimeter will be touching that point D to point E. So, now we already have, we've been able to draw the internal arc. So now we already have our internal, internal arc from point D to point E. Now what we've just done now, we are going to do something similar to get the external arc. That is the one at the top. So to get the one at the top, don't forget the one at the top, that's the external arc. We are using the radius of 10 centimeter. So since that one is going to be at the top, so to st let's start from the, this circle. That means the 10 centimeter minus 2 centimeter. So before we do that, let me also indicate that this part here represents the uh, internal radius that is R2. R2. So the radius of the, uh, the external arc radius is 10 centimeter, and I said we are starting from here. So we are going to minus the radius of this circle, 2 centimeter, from 10 centimeter. So that will give us 8 centimeter. So just follow along. So this is 8 centimeter. So from point B, I'll draw an arc. So what we've done here, we'll do the same thing here. So we are going to be having 10 centimeter minus 3 centimeter, and that will give us 7 centimeter. So I'll measure 7 centimeter here. So you have to make sure that everything is accurate so that you can have a good result so you place it on point A and you draw an arc so I hope you can see it so now let's note the point of intersection so that's their point of intersection so let's call it uh, point F point F so from point F we are going to draw a line that will pass through the center of this circle which is point A So 
so to pass through the center of the circle and touch the circle at the other part so that on this circumference let it touch it so it is touching this circle at this point let's call it point g so the same thing we are going to do here so from point f you are going to draw a line that will pass through point b to touch the circle at the other side and then let's call this point h so if you are finding value in this video please give it a thumbs up so click on the thumbs up button to give it a thumbs up yeah so now having done that we now measure the external arc radius of 10 centimeter with our compass so now we measure the 10 centimeter so this is my 10 centimeter so you place it on point f so once you place it on point f the external arc radius will be from point g to point h so that's the essence of drawing this line from point f to point g and from point f to point h because where it is touching the circumference on this point g and touching the circumference on this point h represents so the line that will go like this represent the external arc radius which i'm doing right now so you can see so this is the external arc radius so let me make it more bold so that you can see it okay so now we already have the external arc radius so let me also indicate this as r1 as our r1 that is 10 centimeter so there's one more thing i want to do i want to make this from this point h to point e i want to make it bold and then from point d to point g to make it bold i think that will bring out the beauty of the dark of what we've just drawn all right so i've made this point from point h to point e and then from point d to point g bold so the diagram is making more sense now so this is how you go about it when you are asked to draw an internal and external arc of a given radio uh, radius to two circles so if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you are here to subscribe to pa academy uh, please click on the subscribe button uh, it helps this channel to grow all right thank you very much if you have just subscribed do make sure you share this video if you have any question any comments or any video request do leave them in the comment section below you can also check out our website paacademy.co paacademy.co also check out our playlist on technical drawing for more helpful video like this and i'll see you all in another video thank you very much and bye for now